in this video i'm just gonna be making um some nude glosses doing a video on how to make lip oils so i'm gonna be using dried rose petals and i'll show you guys how that come out <laughs> Right now I'm just basically using the scale to measure out um, the exact amount per bottle. It's 10 milliliter per bottle, that's how much my roll-on tubes um, consist of, like that's how much it can hold in per bottle. So I just wanted to measure that out, each bottle was 10 milliliters so I wanted to get the exact amount, that way I wasn't wasting any of my oils. At this point, I started to notice, like, damn, how would I, like, get the rose petals to go through the syringe? Because it's, like, a little bit more thicker. And, like, I was not going to cut any more of my syringes because I did that the last time for um, my Cupid lip gloss because it had more thicker glitter. So what I suggest you do before you even try to get the, um, mix the rose petals with the oil, just try to get the rose petals into your lip gloss or your roll-on bottles before you actually add the liquid to it because as you can see right here i'm struggling to get the the rose petals inside of the bottle so it took me a little longer than i expected and yes i'm not selling this one for obvious reasons um it was dripping all on the side of the bottle and that is not sanitary so i decided to keep it for myself and i used it and guess what it was bomb period so 
the link is gonna be in the description so y'all can buy some lip gloss from my website and some lip glosses All right, so basically now why do i always say basically all right so right now i'm gonna be making the rose petal lip gloss so and i use castor oil for the first time just look what it did to my lip gloss i was so mad like i'm just gonna use castor oil for my lip oils i was pissed So I don't know if it's just me, but like, do y'all see how it looked like that? It looked like muck. Like, I don't even know if that's a thing, but like, it looks very like, look at that. It looks like, I don't even know. Like, it wouldn't even fall off the spoon. Like, it was hella thick. It reminded me of custard. And then I thin, thin it out too much. I was just like, it, 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 this is just going wrong. Like, I'm never using this again. I used more coconut oil. It was getting thinner and thinner and thinner. It looked like water. So I was like, I just came off camera and fixed it, like, cause it was just looking gross. Yeah, see that? That's what I'm talking about. Like, it looks a lot more better. All I did was just add more Versa gel and then, like, you know, add a little bit of coconut oil to like even it out, like, so the consistency, the consistency would be like a little bit more thicker um but for some reason i'm doing voiceover and i'm here thinking like i probably sound mad annoying like doing voiceovers i hate doing voiceover at first i used to hate because i used to stutter all the time but i'm doing a voiceover now So I know y'all see like the nude glosses in the back. I'ma still show y'all how to make it. It's just that I already said through the through the talk through. Jesus Christ. That's exactly what I mean by stuttering. But I already had said it to the talk through. I cannot say that word. <laughs> through the talk through that um I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make the rose petal. So I'm still gonna show you how to make the nude glosses. So, my dumb ass, I was mad tired. Guess what I did again? Put the damn rose petal in the syringe. I don't even know how I got it out. Like, I think I even stopped recording at one point because I was getting so frustrated. But look what I did. Put the thing in the syringe again. I don't learn. I clearly don't learn. So, now I'm going to just show you how I make the nudes. This is the pink nude. I get my lip pigments from TKB Trading, and like you've seen, I just add two drops, like even drops of the red lip liquid lip pigment, and then I'm going to add two even drops of the white.
okay so now it looks like i changed it to is either how many it's just gonna be more white than um the red so it was basically three drops of red and four drops of white if it if you're gonna do like one drop of red two drops of white like just make sure it's one more than the red like one more white drop than the red So decided that I was gonna start making, I mean, giving away two dollar samples on my website. So I'm just gonna fill this up. So I'll be using the brown liquid lip pigment from TKB Trade In. This video, I'll be making the melanin, even though I, there's another video of me making melanin. But for melanin, I use two, uh, sorry, three drops of brown, one drop of white. But my other new lip gloss, which is Teddy Bear, it will be two drops of brown, one drop of white. So like this color you see right here is basically what Teddy Bear looks like, but a little bit lighter. And then for melanin, it's th three drops of brown, one drop of white. I'm filling up my samples so my samples are only two dollars like I said and they're on my website it's just gonna be a few of what I currently have right now of like lip glosses that I didn't finish filling up so that's what I'll be giving samples for but I made the three lip glosses that I said I was gonna make which was melanin and rose petal the pink one has two names it is called Mwah, like kisses for Valentine's Day and it's also called strawberry shortcake for my female slices with the strawberry female slices. But I think I just might switch it back to strawberry shortcake once the Valentine's Day special is over for 
$4.99 because I did get new tubes which are considered 15 milliliters. They're bigger than my previous ones, so now I charge $4.99 for my lip gloss tubes for the squeeze tubes. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And I, oh. Thank you. 